so it looks like we are on our like 8,000th round of viruses in the past like I don't know eight weeks nine weeks it's like ever since my mom left to go back to Kentucky the kids have just been non-stop viral machines um which has made it like honestly really difficult because it's been like every week they've had something new and so um if you guys remember I took Milo I was about to say to the fact to the doctor like last week and got him swabbed for the flu and I was almost positive because I had taken Ivy like a week before that like no like 12 days before that and they didn't swab her but they said that she just had a virus because it said that she had a fever and something else and I was like oh so she had the flu they just didn't confirm it well she has a fever now of 104 over 104 so I took her to the doctor this morning and they swapped her for the flu but man alive like I even had to put a I paused Milo's speech therapy sessions for the next three weeks because I'm just like I feel like it's we're like in the ocean and we keep getting hit by these waves and um yeah like you have a hard time like trying to pull yourself back up I just weird an analogy but I just like I need a break on all these illnesses it's a lot. I want to do pretzels. Okay, do you want to go throw them away for me? Yeah, and I'll play on my tablet. Yeah. Okay. And um, I got a blood draw done today. I'll show you guys right there. Um, to test my thyroid, because I think I have an underactive thyroid. Um, but we'll find out. And there, she also, my doctor ordered a few other tests, and like I've had this ordered at the lab for at least six weeks now Ugh. but yeah anyway hope you're having a good thursday Hi. so it has been a rough couple of days um the kids or the babies are watching rugrats right now so if that's what you're wondering what that noise is that's, yeah, that's what it is um so yesterday I took Ivy to the doctor she had a fever and it was a high fever it was 104 and the doctor swapped her for flu B and did a urinalysis and both came back negative um well after we picked up an LB from school I took her temperature because she felt really hot I was laying beside her on the couch and it was 106 and I've never seen a temperature that high before. So I went ahead and packed the kids up and we took Ivy to the ER. And so we waited for three hours and then we were there for another about three hours in a room. Um, they did a PCR test and it came back actually as an adenovirus, which is like a cold type virus. And this specific one has a crazy fever that goes with it. So I was like, oh God. So, I'm glad it was nothing worse, but she seems to be in good spirits anyway, but that's fun. And then uh, the day before, I got into my first car accident. Um, when I was trying to pass the car, I didn't realize how far over they were when I was trying. I wasn't passing, but I was trying to like go the other way to the pick or to drop Penelope off at school at like a fork in the road. It's weird and hard to explain. But, um, yeah, so then that happened, and it was awful. I wasn't wearing shoes. I was in my pajamas still. I was sobbing because it's never happened before, and all my kids were in the car, so I immediately felt like a horrible mother. But nobody was hurt. Like, it was a scratch. It's literally a scratch on the door. But, yeah, so I'm dealing with all that. And then this fever, and it's Friday. It'll be a soccer practice, but man, this is gonna this like vlog is just gonna be all over the place because I have great intentions, but uh, it's just a matter of like finding time to vlog. Excuse me, I just burped on camera. That's good. Okay, and 
It's just been something, been something else. But my mom is coming back today too, so that's exciting. Is her tummy right now? No, she's still driving. She's in like Calhoun, Georgia right now. But yay, I'm excited to finally have help again and not be just by myself. I'm not by myself, but the only adult. It's nice to kind of like be able to share responsibility with somebody. But yeah. And also, when it's summer, I wear sunscreen every day, right? But my freckles have obviously popped out because I'm a freckly person. But I guess it's just from where I'm older, but I have like freckles right here now. And I'm like, that's not really cute because <laughs> there's just freckles. Kind of looks like a mustache, so. I don't know. You Hopefully you're having a good day. I don't have a mustache. I have freckles <laughs> in the place of a mustache. Oh. Good morning. So it is Monday. Um, I kept Penelope home from school today because I think she might have caught um, Ivy's cold bug that we took her to the ER for. And... Um, yeah, I'll show you guys the footage from that um, in just a minute. But So Penelope had a little bit of a fever last night and she was feeling kind of rough. Um, I am having my smoothie and it kind of matches my shirt. It's just uh, an acai pack, um, half a banana, mixed berries, yogurt, and cold pressed coconut water. Hey baby. Hey. Yeah. How's your Monday? Hopefully good. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the footage now from the hospital in the day that we took Ivy to um I think it was St. Joseph's. Alright, so we're here at St. Joseph's Hospital emergency room. Um Ivy's fever spiked and um it was up at like 105 after we got Penelope from school so I like did a quick at home COVID test and all of that but it's crazy we were just at the doctor this morning. Lila, no no. So now we're back here and she just got swapped again for everything and uh, so we'll see uh how that goes and then we'll go from there if that makes sense but yeah we've got the whole party here good morning it's tuesday morning my eyes are a little bit watery so sorry about that um yeah so my mom just took penelope to school but yeah it's tuesday monday nothing else really happened i mean uh penelope was feeling like completely better by 11 o'clock, I'd say. And I was like, okay, we'll take you to school. She was like, oh, I'm not completely better. So that's okay. Um, yeah, do I have any plans for today? No, I'm gonna go on a run because I haven't gotten to go on a run since my mom left because I don't have a jogging stroller and um, I, I don't have anybody to watch the kids for me to go on a run. So yeah, but I wanted to show you guys a couple of things that I got from Target that I am loving right now. All right, so the first one is this Holler and Glow Cocoa Cutie Cuticle Oil. So I kind of have like really, really not great cuticles. So um, I'm trying to show you guys. So yeah, I wanted to get some more cuticle oil and this one has been great. It doesn't have a smell or at least not a strong smell. And so I put it on um, before bed. And I put it on before I put on this. So you guys know that I was using the Happy Dance. It's all out. But that's an empty container. <laughs> but I haven't gotten around to ordering more. So I was like, oh, I'll find a different one. So I found this Dr. Teal's Sleep Body Lotion with melatonin and essential oils. This smells so good. Like, oh my gosh. I love it so much. All right. Okay. And then I've been wanting to... Um, to get like a brownish pink lipstick to wear. I want to start wearing more lipsticks. So I found this at Target too. It's by the company Minted. 
and I got it in the color Minted Number no. 5, um, and then I got the M5 lip pencil, which goes with it. Um, it's a semi-matte lipstick. I don't really know, like, it's a twisty lip pencil, but this is just, like, the exact color that I've been looking for. I'll show you guys. And it is so pretty. Like... It looks really brown, but it's got more of like a pinkish pigment in there too. So it's really nice and I'm glad I got it. And then I also got another kind of cool color. So I love this company e.l.f. now. I'm so glad I watched Jessica Braun's videos. So that's the color right there. I didn't keep the packaging, but it's like a lip stain. It's This one's called Coral Cutie. So it is a like orangish lip stain. Isn't that pretty? I don't know. I thought that it looks really nice on too. So I really like this color. It's just unique, but like not too, to me, like red, like, see, like that color red down there is like just too, I don't know, vivid for every day for me at least. So I'm trying to go for like colors, but like more almost a neutral color. I don't know. I'll, yeah, I'll have to show you this, um, this on me to you guys, but yeah, by the company e.l.f. I think it was pretty cheap. I think this one was a little bit more, but it was 20% off. But yeah, okay. Now it is time to start our day. So now we're just waiting on Milo to wake up. And that'll be it. And also, fun fact, I'm gonna be filming another Germany video. I'm pretty excited for it. Ivy wants to watch Gabby Cat, so we're gonna put on Gabby Cat. Also, we watched the movie on Netflix, speaking of Netflix, Operation Mincemeat. Um, with like Mac Matthew McFadden, Jason Isaacs and everything. It was really good. It was um it was a historic movie based on um real events in World War II. But so good. Like so interesting. It's essentially about like a deception plot or a deception plan that uh saved tens of thousands of lives um in World War II. Yeah, pretty interesting. I don't know, if you like history. Give it a shot. It's a cookie. Oh, yeah, you got a free cookie. Yeah, you got one too. It's over here. I hope it's not chocolate. Uh, I think it might be. There's my meal. I got brisket, Martin, collard greens, and their um, donut bread pudding. Why don't you like and my mom got a salad for us to split and she got the messy pig or the destroyer. Oh. All done? Thank you. Ready? <laughs> Alright, lunch at Four Rivers was excellent. Um, if you're in Tampa, definitely go to Four Rivers. I think they're in Orlando too. But just good. It was really crowded though, so I recommend getting there at 11. So we are back home now. Um, I'm fixing a cup of green tea before I put Milo down for a nap. Uh, this is that minted lipstick that I showed you. It is a little more brown on. Um, I still like it though. But yeah, I'm about to go pick up Penelope after I put Milo down. For his nap. He's not a great napper though, so he won't nap for very long, probably. Uh, today, we went to Tampa. We went to Party City to get some more, um, or to try to find some more Minion birthday decorations for Milo's second birthday, because we're going to do like a Minions theme. Um, and we went to Total Wine. And then lunch. And that was it. You ready to take a nap? Yes. Well, it is Tuesday afternoon and the kids are playing in the sprinkler out back with my mom. And I went to go take out our recycling. And it said that it was, or like the power tripped because I had just started a load of laundry. It was really strange. I don't know. I mean, I guess better now than 
later, like when the kids are asleep, because I hate when that happens. But yeah, so now I'm just kind of like um, picking up and tidying up. There's always a lot of that to do. Um, in regards to, I have a cut. I had a couple video requests for like um, doing like our military, uh, like a budget as a young military family, like how we budget. And honestly, that's gonna be something that's gonna take a little bit of research because I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> money gives me anxiety. Uh, or like it like, uh, it makes my anxiety like heightened. I don't know why it always has. So that's something that Zach deals with so I don't have to like freak out about it. Um, yeah, I know that sounds bad, but I'm happy to do a video about it. I just have to do the research so I'm not like feeding false information because I never want to try to steer anybody in the wrong direction or give bad advice. I just have to definitely um, ask Zach about it and um, look back like at our expenses and stuff. <sighs> I don't know. I'm tired. I think I'm going to make an espresso. Let's go make an espresso. All right. My mom got me these cute little espresso mugs. I don't know where she got them, but when she came back from Kentucky, she was like, oh, here, I got these for you. And I love them because they look like little... Um, you know, like camp mugs, those little tin ones that you'd bring to go camping. We used to camp a lot when I was little. But yeah, so that's what, I love them. I love them so, so much. I don't know why. Just normally like espresso cups are a little more like boring. They don't have as like cute a personality, but this is a capsule I'm using. I don't know where it's, I do know. No, I don't. I don't remember. It's a knockoff Nespresso one, but it does pretty good when it comes to, um, espresso size the lungo one can i taste me mm -mm -mm. crema i love nespresso so worth it i got out the popcorn buckets because the kids wanted popcorn but like all of our big bowls were dirty and so I was like, oh wait, I got popcorn buckets. So I have like a Disney winter one. And then we have our uh, universal one. And yeah, so Milo and Ivy ate their popcorn out of <laughs> theme park buckets. Good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, we just got back from Walmart because the kids were all out of juice. But guess who has succumbed to that adenovirus that Ivy caught first that we had her in the hospital for and that Penelope kind of came down with for like a couple days. That's right, Milo. So his nose is running like crazy, but we're gonna get home so he can rest. We were only out for like half an hour. My mom's getting gas right now. And Zach just ordered Milo's birthday present. So we have his birthday decorations. We now have almost all of his presents except for Zach wants to get him a little Transformers toy from Universal and a um Jurassic yeah like a dinosaur one because he's really into dinosaurs too and then I went to, I went to Walmart also to look for a um Power Rangers toy because Milo really likes um on Netflix it's Power Rangers Dino Fury and he loves it and um I thought Walmart had like the best Power Rangers toys I didn't have anything so then I've got to order that too but then other than getting his cake you know we'll uh we'll have everything for his second birthday look at that snotty nose also did not do my hair today didn't do makeup didn't want to do any of that because just didn't feel like it today so fresh faced and fancy free and this dress is from loft and it's so comfortable and it's not just a spaghetti strap so it actually like, covers my bra strap and it's just amazing i love it and it's so cute it reminds me kind of of like grease but yeah happy wednesday it is so hot in florida oh my gosh i'm wearing like i, I think i already told you guys about my dress from loft and i'm so hot oh like i like to sit at the school for pickup with the windows down because I don't know if it's just like the German thing. You don't leave your car idling. 
you know, it's bad for the environment, but oh man, I mean, thankfully she's coming out in like five minutes is when they start um, car line, but I'm just like, I'm sweating everywhere. So that's fun. Also, my ponytail is insane today. I was noticing that like right before I um, left the house, I threw it up in a ponytail. And I was like, this has so much volume. I don't know why. I have a lot of hair. I don't know if you guys noticed that I've got a lot of hair. It's just, you know, who I am. Birthday is in like two weeks. No, it's in like three weeks. It's a week after Milo's birthday. It's my birthday. It's June 4th and I cannot believe I'm gonna be 29. It's gonna be my last year in my 20s. That's insane. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Also, fun fact, I have like, um, like over 5,000 followers on Instagram, right? So my YouTube is obviously lower because I started that later um but I applied for this one um micro influencer company where you do like campaigns and stuff and I hate rejection I mean uh it sucks but they rejected me they were like yeah no because of your low engagement and I was like Suck. don't tell me that <laughs> but it's fine I mean, I don't know. I feel like I'm in such a limbo anymore anyway, too. And especially because you see all these influencers out there like, oh, we won't post our kids anymore because we don't want them to feel like we're putting their presence out there too much. And then just a whole bunch of other stuff. I don't know. It's fine. I am just ranting, you guys. You know that. But... I'm gonna go ahead and get off here because the kids are coming out and I don't want to show other people's kids. But yeah. Starting off our <clears throat> Friday morning the way we start off every morning. This is just a Nespresso capsule. Oh, look at all that crema. So good. told Ivy that I'm gonna regret this I know I am <laughs> that we were gonna play with play-doh today because she's starting to feel under the weather again I don't know if it's the virus that we took her to the hospital for that's just like relapsing but <sighs> she has like a snotty nose and a fever again and um, Milo has a snotty nose and a fever <laughs> and Penelope has a cough so I'm just like and Monday, Sunday night and Monday morning is when that special thing is supposed to happen. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope they feel better. But anyway, I'm in the playroom and I'm going to go inside the magic closet and get some Play-Doh out. Hopefully, if I haven't thrown it all away, Play-Doh is one of those things that people get for them. And they use it like once and then it mysteriously disappears. Looks like we have one here that should have some in it. Oh, oh no. Alright, I found this pack has some. And then that pack was, those were dry in there. And then I also found this one and this one that are good. So I don't think they'll be pretty Play-Doh, but whatever, it's Play-Doh. Also, I was trimming this bush that's by our AC unit because our AC hasn't been working again. And I was like, oh, you know, I, I probably need to trim it. So I went ahead and trimmed it. And then while I was in there trimming, why that side is still long is that in that part of the bush, I found snake skin. I've seen this snake in our yard before. It's been like over there. But yeah, over there I found like a little hole that it has. There was another one over there where like all that dead grass is. But yeah, I found it's uh, molted skin. So that's fun. Figured I'd share that with you guys. Hopefully nobody's too squeamish. And it is so hot and sticky out cause it's been rainy today and now it's sunny and ooh wee, it's humid here in Florida. Whatever that is, <laughs> 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 All right, 
right, so it is about five o'clock, so it's dinner time. The kids are watching Phineas and Ferb, because if you don't know the storyline, it's about summer vacation, and so it was Penelope's last day of school today. And what's more appropriate? Anyway, for dinner we're having, the Penelope and Milo are having a taco, and Ivy, my mom and I, are having taco salad. So I'll show you guys that. Um, so here it is, it's just lettuce, um, taco meat with a taco seasoning, um, green onions, tomato, salsa, a little bit of sour cream, and then some crumbled chips on top. So my mom's always kind of just like set it up like this ever since we were kids, and you kind of do it yourself. But yeah, so that's our, that's our taco salad for tonight. And then I also added a fire packet to mine and a mild packet just for extra flavor but yeah yum you ran out okay I'll get you some water okay but I, I think that's it I think I'm finally gonna conclude this weekly vlog um follow me on Instagram for like more hi for more like recent updates or like in the moment ones and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.